Tyler, get out of the shot. No. <laughs> oh man, what a sight we have here. Okay, so we have my brand new 2020 GR Toyota Supra, and then we have pretty much, I think probably the wildest street Supra now. It's the HKS one. What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We are out here in Arizona. I had a chance to visit HKS Japan, and I figured, hey, there's a HKS US, might as well visit them, see what they're up to. We got, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> shootception. <Hi. laughs> Keske from HKS uh, US, uh, but he actually started in HKS Japan. And we got Hana, who's actually gonna talk to us about HKS US and also this really awesome street build that you guys have. So I really did have the pleasure of checking out the Japanese facilities. I know it's one of those things where it's very, um, I wouldn't say uh, private, but uh, they don't just let anyone in there. So I really appreciate you guys letting me come and visit. Uh, but it's one of those things where I had a chance to actually check out the facilities check out a lot of the historic cars and it just kind of really made me appreciate like the history that you guys have. So tell us a little bit about HKS US. We just opened up this office in 2018 at the end. We did have HKS USA before but it closed in 2011. So right now we're trying to establish our presence here in the US again so that um, we can start uh, letting the younger people, maybe in the 20s, know what HKS is really all about. Because HKS has a lot of history and that's really an important, an important aspect about HKS. I was so happy to be able to see a lot of the historic cars, including like the CT230R, TRB01, which is uh, the Alteza, yeah. right? The all-carbon all Alteza, which is really a historic record-breaking car that actually graced the cover of Super Street Magazine all those years ago. And it was kind of one of those things where I, I look at that magazine, and I think about it, and I think to myself, like, I would never be able to see that car in person. And I had a chance to see it at the HKS Japan facilities. They're, I guess, museum, right? Yeah, it's a museum. <laughs> So this is kind of the fun thing actually. So um, I haven't had the Supra for that long and uh, it's a great daily driver and it's something that I feel like it has enough power to kind of get me in trouble. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. It's a, it's a pretty cool car. It's a very modern sports car. And with this, you kind of just 
improved upon it and this is probably the wildest street build I've ever seen. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so it is a very flashy car, like you said, like even you hear the pops and bangs that everybody loves. Uh, that comes from the factory. Well, this is the uh, USA street concept car. Right now we have a, a really nice flashy wide body on it. <laughs> All right, so you, you do a little bit of uh, time attack and also track driving yourself, correct? Uh, yeah, like high performance driving. So you actually have your own time attack car? No, I, I don't have, uh, it's, a, it's double duty. It's an FRS that's supercharged. <laughs> uh, and is that something that you guys do development on too? Yeah, uh, it was an HKS demo car. So um, actually, I think one of the first GT superchargers was actually on that car. Awesome. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about this. There's so many body kits for the A90 Supra already. This has got to be the craziest. I mean, in terms of how wide it is, maybe not so much, but just the look and the, the way that it fits and the way that it sits is really, really cool. So it's a, it's functional too, right? Yeah, it is functional, but it's really, really wide. Um, each side adds four inches to the car. So in total, you're adding a total of eight inches to the car. Um, it's a very aggressive look. The design philosophy of the body kit is actually derived from, like uh, you were talking about the TRB-01, which is the Carbon Alteza. Uh, we had a TRB-02, which is the um, CT230R. Uh, currently we have a TRB03 which is the red FRS. With all of those elements uh, we've tested, they've developed this body kit. One of the interesting takes that I got from visiting uh, the facilities in Japan, some of the guys were basically telling me, look, HKS is not an aero company. They're saying we don't really make aero. It's more about mechanical. It's more about making power, reliability all of that, but that's the thing that HKS always had edge-wise over a lot of other time attack cars and a lot of competitors is that they kind of have that mechanical advantage versus using aero. So it's actually really interesting to see that you guys are doing aero on a new car. So tell me a little bit about that. So this car was prepared as a street concept car for SEMA, but um, actually starting from this year, as we continue to de develop performance products, we want to get into time attack with this car. So um, you saw us at uh, Global Time Attack Super Lap Battle. Uh, we did compete there. Um, hopefully from next year, we'll start putting down some times after we improve the car. Right now, we don't have as many performance products on the car. Right now, we have a drop-in filter, prototype downpipe, uh, exhaust. It does have an ECU flash. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, and of course, the arrow. Uh, in addition to uh, the little power adders, you have upgraded brakes and you also have uh, adjustable springs, correct? So how much power is it actually making over stock? Right now it's making 70 horsepower over stock to the wheels. Okay, so that's pretty uh, impressive for just basically three things. It's a uh, intake, downpipe, a flash, and then I guess exhaust, so four things. 70 horsepower, reliable, not so bad. That's pretty cool. So will you let me drive it? That's the question. <laughs> sure. Scumbag achieved. <laughs> At Tokyo Auto Salon, we had uh, three Supras there, and one of them, a uh, black uh, street concept Supra, had a new prototype charge pipe and a sequential blow-off valve on it. We're still in the development process of making new products. Uh, we do have Intake, the red mushroom, a very famous super power flow. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. We have that coming out. So we have new coilovers. The Hypermax, right? Yeah, so no, right now we have oh. the Hypermax adjustable springs, but um, that retains the full functionality of the electronic damper control system, but uh, we, we are making an error canceller for Hypermax SP, which is um, a more track-oriented coilover. So that's kind of one of the things uh, about this. It is a development car and it's a chassis that you guys are going to continue to improve on. Hence why this exists, why this is here, and this is actually going to be 
your time attack car, right, for the US? Yes. Okay, cool. So who, who do you actually have drive your time attack cars? Well, <laughs> last uh, we had an employee drive it last year, but I think maybe this year we're still thinking about who's driving it. Maybe it'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> or you. No, me. I'll take that. Yeah. But no, I, I, I think it'll be cool to see you behind the wheels, so. I love that. Yeah, that, that would be awesome. No, it, it'll be me. I'm going to scumbag them into letting them. See, I have a practice car, right? So I'm going to practice in my personal one. And then when I go time attack, I get to drive that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this drive and let's see how it drives. I scumbagged the uh, HKS into letting me drive their Supra, so if I crash that one, then I'll give them the stock one. Does that, does that work out? I think so. You think that's good? Yeah, that might work. I don't think they'll be that mad. So I've been driving my 2020 GR Toyota Supra around for a couple weeks now. It's an amazing car. A lot of people like to make fun of it. A lot of people like to make fun of the fact that it's not manual. For me, I have plenty of manual cars. You know, I have plenty of cars that will really shake my bones apart. Um, my 240Z is insane to drive on the street. It's super stiff. My 911 will spin all four tires in first gear, no problem. So it's actually nice to have a car that's fast, that's not so rough. On top of that, legit, it pretty much drives itself. This is pretty much the most crazy street version of it that I've actually seen and they're gonna let me drive it, so I'll let you guys know how it compares to my 2020 Supra. Oh, this is so wide. Look at this chunk here. Look at this extra chunk that they put up to the door. The door is wider. Oh my God, look at this. Can you show this, the wing? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the wing. Dude, you see this corner? Drift is happening right now. Oh yeah? I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow! This is way faster! <laughs> oh wow! This is actually crazy! That, oh my god! It went through those gears so quick? It's so fast! All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. A lot of people are thinking like, ah, whatever, 400 horsepower to the wheels, not that big of a deal. But with this eight speed transmission, man, it really like, man, this thing moves out really, really good. I'm actually surprised. I've driven so many crazy cars. This is as crazy as a street car should be, I feel like. It's still usable. It still has enough traction. This thing is crazy. So it's running Yokohama Advan AO52s on here. And this is pretty much this, um, this tire setup that they would actually run for time attack. All right, another pull, second gear. <laughs> okay. You boys like Mexico, yeah! Legit. Oh Speed my god. 40, Larry. I'm going 40. <laughs> Jeez. That sound is intoxicating, really. That's one of my favorite lines uh, that my buddy Magnus Walker says. He always <laughs> says, everything is so intoxicating. This is intoxicating. I love this thing. I'm just so happy right now. Mm -hmm. How is it? How is it that it sounds that good? I love it. This is how an inline six should sound. Oh, here we go. Tunnel. Wow. Oh my God. When it shifts, that sound is so crazy. That fuel cut. Yeah. And then the crazy thing about this is that they try to retain so much of the stock features. So for example, the active suspension still works. 
it's just adjustable springs that they put on. And then when I actually hit this, it closes one of the exhausts. So now it's quiet, normal street mode. But as soon as I hit sport again, it just, it's just so loud. It actually does not drone that bad at all. I actually, I don't hear any droning. So that's definitely a plus. I just can't believe I'm driving the HKS Supra on the street. Should have been me driving. Should have been <laughs> me driving. I don't know, who let this guy drive? I should be driving. Oh my God. That noise is just... <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. Just one more time, one more time. <laughs> oh, I just can't contain myself. I'm gonna be bored in your Supra now. Oh. Hey, my Supra is gonna feel like a Toyota Camry after this. <laughs> hey, you make fun of my stock 100% untouched Supra, but let me tell you, on the way here to Arizona, to the HKS uh, US headquarters, I set the cruise control at 85 miles per hour and I was no joke at one point getting 31.3 miles to the gallon and I was not going slow at all. I couldn't imagine if I was going the speed limit on the highway coming here, it would probably get even crazier, 33 miles per gallon, who knows? In terms of a daily driver, I can't imagine anything really. It's just so usable. That's the point of it. It really is usable. Well, that was so much fun. I can't believe I had a chance to drive this on the street. We were getting looks left and right from people. This sounds so much better than mine. I mean, it actually has sound and uh, it's actually quite comfortable for a street car, but I couldn't imagine driving this on the street every day you'd get some really funny looks. It just looks like a time attack car for the street. It actually looks like a race car. In terms of power, I do have to say the 400 horsepower to the wheels, while there's plenty of street cars that have a lot more in terms of usable, in terms of how much traction this car actually has for a rear wheel drive car, it's more than enough. It's so good. But I know HKS US and HKS Japan they're gonna to continue to work together and develop this car into a ultimate street car slash time attack car. We're gonna see more power. We're gonna see more interesting things that they're gonna to do to this really limitless B58 motor. Thank you so much to HKS for having me once again. And thank you so much for letting me drive your car.